while back, um, I did a video, and it was quite a while back, I did a video on a solar powered generator that I had made, and um, it's just a 35 amp hour, but, um, and I had it hooked originally to a 13 watt panel. To a 13 watt panel. Since then, um, I had purchased another one, a Concept Green, and it was a 40 watt panel with a 20 amp hour solar generator. And what I ended up doing is uh, putting some Anderson poles on that 40 watt panel and mostly keeping it connected along with a um, splitter here, adding so I could have up to four panels added onto the solar generator at a time. Well, it's really worked great because um, on the occasions, you know how it is when you live outside of town, if power is going to be lost, it will be lost by the people outside of town first, and they will get it turned back on last. So it's worked really great. I don't just use it for my radio as I had originally planned to do. I use it to run fans at times. Um, I have this one and then we have this O2 Cool which also has a 12 volt adapter and the best part that we use it for is to run the lights. I'll tell you what, the one day our power was out for was seven or nine hours and it was in the midst of the day and of course, being here in Texas, it was exceedingly hot um, with no air conditioning and nothing. It was nice to be able to open the windows and to be able to at least run a fan and circulate to keep the air from just being so still. So anyway, it, it just gives you some options. have the ability to run the radio, like I said, um, and I would run the ra our um, ham radio course only on low power if I was doing that. Um, have the ability to run a fan and have the ability for lights and you have ability to also charge phones and most of the time, almost every day, that's what that's where I do charge my phones also since I have a uh, 12 volt adapter there and um, everything I have I make sure I have a 12 volt adapter for and this is one of the little USB ones pick those up in the store nowadays they're like four bucks it, you just can't beat that you can charge cell phones you can charge um, your tablets you know whatever it is that you need charged um, it's not a problem and you know we've charged our laptops under emergencies and one time just for the heck of it when the power went out um, we went ahead and hooked up our clear wire box and our router to it and um, watched some Netflix you know, it did help pass the time. So, anyway, it's it's an it's just some ideas of what you can do with it. But again, be prepared. You're on a homestead. A lot of people are on homesteads. It's all about you know they sell self sufficiency. Mm, I don't know so much. You know, it it it's good to be able to depend on yourself, and it's good to be prepared. It's really good to never be left in the dark without power.